Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your preferences in Adobe Bridge and also how to get your work workspace the way that you want it to be. Um, the very first thing you want to do is go up to Adobe Bridge, go to Preferences, and click on General right up here. And I have mine set so that whenever I plug in my CF card uh, with my card reader that this always opens this uh, Adobe Bridge. Another thing that you can do if you want to and you don't definitely don't have to do this is when your computer turns off and then turns on I want my bridge to go ahead and turn on or, or open up and so I click this little thing here. Um, you can also do that for all of these other things too so if I wanted which I do you can see here when my computer opens I always want my Photoshop to open so I click the little button there. Okay, all these other things don't really worry about, um, so then just say OK. So now whenever I um, plug in a CF card, then what happens is, uh, yep, I know that, OK, is the right screen will pop up on my computer that lets me um, download the pictures the way that we're supposed to. Um, remember, in our class, you have to use Adobe Bridge. Um, it's taken me about two years, but I finally understand that it works really really well I really like it and it also works for um, like Premiere Pro projects and so forth too um, that's something that's kinda of taken me a while to kinda of figure out that you can actually watch videos and things in Adobe Bridge aren't they cute? they're so cute okay so that's that. So that's how you do your preferences. So that when you uh, put your CF card in, you get your you get that screen that pops up so that you'll know where to put your pictures. Okay. The next thing is this workspace. You can kind of decide how you want to have it. I like kind of having a preview place over here of the picture. Like here's Mr. Shafi. You can see that there's a little preview over here of him. Um, you can go up to Window Workspace, and then you have all of these different choices right here. Um, I mean, it's totally up to you what you like. Um, just kind of mess around. See, to me, that's confusing, but maybe you like that. Um, don't worry about this size here. You can bring that. You can make that smaller. Maybe you like having this here and this here. I'm not sure what I like. I'm, I'm still kind of messing around with it, trying to figure out what I like. Um, but you can just kind of go down the list and figure out what it is that you like um, to have open. Um... So, let's see here. Let's just reset the workspace. Whoa, that's totally not what I want. So let's do workspace. Let's just do essentials. Let's, uh, let's see here. Film strip. Oh, I remember um, one of my learners last year, she liked this. This kind of looks kind of cool where you have your folders down here and then you have um, your pictures here. You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try that. I kind of like that. Um, now, this part over here kind of gets a little bit confusing. Export, um, you are more than welcome to keep that. I don't really like that, so I'm going to go up to Window and I'm going to turn that off. See? It goes bye bye. I like to have my collections and you will too once I show you what this does it's kinda cool but I'll show you that in another video filter I don't really need that either so I'm gonna go window I'm gonna take the filter off so collections if you don't have collections showing you just come over here and make sure that that arrow is uh, clicked right there um, same thing if your favorites isn't isn't showing or your folders aren't showing you can just click right here okay so right here in folders that's just kind of how you can get to all your folders and so forth and favorites I like favorites because Hi. That's where I actually keep all of my stuff. Like here's my collections from Bridge. Um, I trying to get more organized. I'm putting all my pictures in my picture uh, picture thing. I don't know if I like this. It's driving me bananas already. Um, let's get a picture of my little boy. There he is. Um, let me show you what I like to do. I like to have uh, my preview panel, which is this. I like to have this over here. Let's see if it'll let me move it. So what that did is it put this behind and this in front. I don't like that either. 
So let's try... See, it's all... Don't be scared to play with it, because if you mess it up, I can help you fix it. Metadata. See, I like this here, and then I like to have my preview thing on the right side here. So let's see if preview showing. It's not, so preview panel. Okay, so I'm going to click that little tab there, and I'm going to drag it over to the side if it'll let me. You can tell I don't do this very often because it's mine's already set the way I want it. I didn't even know it would do the little tab thing there. Let's see. So don't don't um don't be scared to kind of play around. There we go. So then I want my I want my preview to be right here. So let me get that back up again. There it goes. Okay. Now if this was over here like this, then like it was a while ago, I, I didn't have this column, so that's why I was having trouble. You can just click that and bring it over here. So here's my content. Here's my favorites. Here's different folders. Hello. And you want to have your collections, and we'll talk about that later. You probably don't have anything in your collections yet. And you want your metadata showing, too. So, for instance, this picture right here was at, that, this is what metadata means. Is that F22, I'm sorry, I keep saying that, F2.2 at 1 250th of a second at ISO 32. That's why it's good to have your metadata, because it kind of tells you, and it tells me, too everything about what you're doing. And just to let you know, this also tells me if you use Flash, which we're not using this year, um, well, we will, but not what we're doing right now. We'll do it like for indoor photography when we're doing like um, a backdrop for like a, a photo booth. But other than that, this should never tell me anything about Flash, or it also shouldn't tell me that you are using automatic, um, automatic focusing or automatic um, part of your camera. I'm sh not sure why it's not letting me click that, but okay. So that's kind of how you do it. You want to have metadata. You want to have a folder that says collections, and if you don't, it's up here. Collections, see right there. Um, and this is optional. You don't have to have a folders. I don't actually do that. I don't keep that, but you can keep it if you want. I know a lot of kids last year did, so I'm going to take that off because I don't want that. This is exactly what mine looks like. Okay. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new worse workspace. So I'm going to call this Mooney. So if I accidentally hit light table or preview or metadata or something weird, I'm like, oh no, that's not how I like it. So I can come up here and go to workspace and come over here to Mooney and there it is. Okay, I hope this helped. That's all for that.